Today on Toy Shiz, come with me if you want to live. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe Revelation based on the new Netflix show, The Masterverse Faker Action Figure, the evil robot of Skeletor. <laughs> and it confuses people between he and he-man apparently really gorgeous box art as always you turn this thing over and you're like dang that's a cool image and i do believes that's mr eamon o'donohue killing it again on the artwork screen grab this if you want to know a little bit more about faker but yeah overall just this piece of art right here that is so supoy and here's the barcode for faker as well now here's a little tip trick for you People have begun to find Faker at Target stores now, but if you see him on the shelf in the store, he's $30, and you can see it says Motu Trade Up Faker $29.99. Now, I got my Faker off the Target app. It was late one night. I managed to click it, grabbed it real fast, they shipped it over. He was only $20 on the app. So what you're going to want to do is that if, yeah, if you find him at your Target store, Go ahead, pull up the app, head over to customer service and say, hey, you know what? I'd like you to price match this off of your app and it should be no problem. So make sure all your $30 fakers go over to customer service and get him for 20 bucks. But in either case, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, real cup of coffee. None of that faker decaf stuff. This is a look at the brand new Netflix original animated series, Motu Revelation, Mattel's Masterverse Faker. And of course, here's the evil fake out robot of Skeletor out of the packaging. And what I like the most about this figure is the number of accessories that he comes with to achieve a couple different looks for Faker. Like this Pretty much standard He-Man head. He's got kind of an upset face, but he's got some demonic, evil, robot red eyes to him. But then he also comes with a completely flesh melted off the face faker head, which is cool. The one thing, as you'll soon see, is that unfortunately the skull head, you could say, is a little bit too small. That's the one thing. He does come with his He-Harness. It's the exact same He-Harness as the last he-Man. And as you can kind of see, the head between the two is a little bit smaller than the standard He-Man. Of course, you got a little darker hair and such. He also comes with a couple different extra hands. You got a fisted hand, an item holding hand. He comes with a power sword with a orange motif to it. It's nicely done. Nice silver paint. And you can see that the difference between the two is that, you know, obviously one's a He-Man sword, one's a Faker sword, being that it's orange. He also comes with his Faker shield right there. And I would say, put this hand in this just like this that way you can kind of easily pull it off and on the figure's arm the one thing about the shield though is that i wish it was more of that faker orange on this side now with faker himself this is actually a pretty cool he-man robot you got flesh melted off him yes i put the orange harness on him but largely he's the exact same he-man figure as we got with wave one just with some robotic parts on the arm and then of course the torso the legs are largely the same but i love seeing all the melted off flesh it's all highlighted with like a red like the flesh has been singed and i really like that he comes with a more classic orange faker vest which easily removes and goes on the figure itself it's just kind of two straps you're going to want to pull the head off and you simply remove it you get to see more of the flesh and everything burned away the metal and all that kind of stuff but as you can see once you swap the head the all metal faker head is a little bit too small but i like the blue silver of him he's even got some metal nipples going on <laughs> but i like to see all the different robotic elements and i think it's a really cool homage type color to the faker but i really like this half burned off face i think that that matches the character in just so many ways this is really cool to have that he's like a terminator but in he-man style now one thing wrong with mine i'll just say as you can see underneath right here the legs on this side don't exactly match up so it's a weird once it's matched up the legs gonna go off to the side so i would say if you get the chance to kind of go through a few on the shelves make sure your leg is in working order. As you can see on the previous He-Man, it all matches up. So yeah, mine is a little wackadoo wonky on the leg, but the articulation is largely the same. Yes, it's a different type of body, but you actually get more mobility than the last He-Man figure, which is really nice. Mine was a little stuck in the joints, 
But when you pair him up to the previous He-Man, I mean, anybody that gets this guy confused. Yes, I've seen the show. He gets melted away. Initially, think that's He-Man. But it is cool to have now this robotic He-Man figure and all the pieces will swap between the two figures. So you can put vests on, robot heads, you can swap the gauntlets. It's very cool to have all these different looks for this robot guy. So it works for me and he poses and he photographs relatively well. It's a kind of an odd thing. I would say in hand, I think you're gonna see that this guy looks a whole heck of a lot better. He doesn't exactly photograph perfectly, but hey, you know what? It is a lot of fun, like I said, to have a robot He-Man. Now, for those of you who are just like, hey, he's not blue, forget it, I'm out of here. I mean, for me, in all honesty, I really like the Origins Faker. I like the blue skin. I think it fits that version of He-Man, but to have this like Terminator He-Man now, that's pretty cool. I love the way the skin is just melting off this guy. And you could put the original Faker sword in his hand. If you wanted to know scaling wise, between all the new He-Man Revelation figures, like Scareglow and Skeletor and everything else, yeah, he's going to sit at that He-Man height. And it's just cool. The bad guys are just a lot of fun in the He-Man universe. So when you have all the new figures together, yes, this is just another great entry for your He-Man Revelations figure line. Now, whether or not they continue with it past when the Netflix show ends, Masterverse is said to eventually encapsulate all manner of He-Man characters and universes and everything else. So I'm excited to see where they actually go. But for now, in all honesty, yeah, Masterverse with the Revelations motif is actually a lot of fun. So that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new Mattel he-Man, Masters of the Universe, Revelation, Faker. Now, I have a problem with the leg matching up. Mine's a little bit wonky because I think that it's just the wrong piece, to be honest with you. It just doesn't line up correctly. The heads are a little bit too small. I think that was a problem with the Wave 1 sort of deal, but in this sense, it's more noticeable for me. Wave 1 didn't bother me. This one is really noticeable, especially with the totally burned away flesh faker head. It's a really, really teeny tiny head. I guess it would work in the sense of you have a skull underneath flesh, but it doesn't look the best. I would say a bigger head overall. I really like all the swap out pieces. I like the interchangeableness of this guy. So in either sense, he's a cool figure, but there are a few nitpicks here and there for this guy. But... I am curious to know what you guys think about this new He-Man Revelations Faker. Is he for you? Will you be grabbing him? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Faker. And don't forget, price match your figures at your Target store. It should be no problem. Just be polite. Treat them with respect and they'll take good care of you. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I still don't understand how people can mistake it's like clark kent you know what i mean like oh hey this big dude with glasses can't possibly be superman but you look at this guy and he's all blue or he's got like glowing red eyes no that's totally he-man hey he-man what's up and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios